Today we're going to look at two techniques for drawing spirals uh, using turtle graphics and P5JS. We've been learning about uh, turtles and turtle graphics uh, this week already. Uh, you have an assignment. Uh, if you haven't done it yet or looked at it, uh, you will find these uh, beautiful pictures from nature uh, about uh, spirals, you incorporating spirals. Uh, these are uh, phylotactic spirals, very uh, interesting kind of special case of spiral, and your assignment is, is to uh, implement this in code. So we're going to talk about uh, techniques for making spirals uh, because th there are uh, two methods that I want you to be familiar with for this assignment and other things you might want to do. So let's uh, go and look at this sketch. Uh, first of all, what I've done is I've just pasted, as we've done before, I've, I've pasted turtle graphics code right into my sketch. I, I could modify index.html to load it as a separate file, as a special library, and uh, but just for simplicity, I didn't do it that way. I just put it up at the top of my, my code. In fact, you know, I think I'm going to switch things around. I'm going to put my code at the top just to make the point that you can do that. Okay, so everything below the dashed line is the turtle implementation, and we, we just you know don't need to really look at those details. Now, the code that I'm going to be doing today is uh, uh, just draws static images. So we're going to we're going to use setup, uh, but not draw. And I'm going to end setup with a no loop call just to make sure that once it gets drawn, nothing else happens. No need spending uh, batteries or CPU time or heating up the room, just drawing the same image over and over again. As usual, the sketch makes a turtle. Uh, we set the color and the weight. We put the pen down and go forward just to make sure that it works. And since I just did an edit, let me reload and take a look here. Yep, uh, everything is fine. I'm, I'm just drawing this line. So now our task is to make a loop. We're going to take uh, the first uh, spiral. I'm sorry, we're going to make a spiral. I'm going to take the first uh, method, uh, which is just draw a continuous spiral uh, by taking many steps. So we, we, we need a loop here. Uh, let's say we're going to take 200 steps. <laughs> that won't do it. I less than 200. I plus plus. Okay, so this, this loop is going to run 200 times. What do we want to do? Well, first of all, let's, before we even get into the le loop, let's turn left. So now I'm pointing back over here in the diagram. I'm, I'm, I'm out here 50 pixels from the middle, and I'm pointed upwards. And so I'm going to try to draw and slowly turn left and go around and around and make uh, some kind of spiral. OK, so let's go forward, maybe 10 pixels. We can always adjust it later. And let's turn left 10 degrees. I guess I like. 10 for now, and let's draw that. Oh, that's a pretty nice little circle. It's not a spiral. Well, maybe it's a special case of a spiral that neither gets bigger nor smaller. So how do we make something that spirals outward? Well, one thing we can do is as the loop index increases, we can take longer and longer steps. So let's just scale. Well, let's let's just take 10 plus i and see what happens. Ooh, uh, we're getting big rather rapidly. So let's scale i back down to one tenth. Oh, so that's a pretty nice uh, spiral. We're getting there. I don't like this initial line that we drew. So let's just put the pen down after we move forward. You see that? So here's. Here's where we move forward from the center. Here's Then we put the pen down, and we turn left, and we draw. So we'll test that. Oh, maybe I need to do a pen up. 
and up. I guess the pen is initially down. Good thing I tested. Okay, here we go. Um, now, what else can we do with the spiral? Well, I think it would it should start closer to the origin. So let's just go forward 10 before we start drawing. Hmm. Well, that didn't really do anything. It just shifted us over because we didn't uh, we don't have a tight enough radius here. So let's let's uh, set the initial step size to one instead of ten and reload. Oh, so now we're getting something more like what I was expecting and but we need to take a lot more steps. So I'm going to up this to a thousand. And there we have a spiral. We could make this uh, spiral grow faster by incrementing the line length faster, uh, i times 0.2 instead of 0.1, and get something like this. All right, so that's one way to do a spiral. Now, of course, we don't have to um, actually draw lines the way we're doing it here. In fact, one thing I want to do is is sort of um, make a spiral out of some shape. So let's let's teach the turtle how to make a square. We're going to say, um, let's see, a square is just four sides that are all the same. So we'll loop four times, j less than four, j plus plus, and how do we draw a square? Let's do uh, set the pen down and go forward. Uh, oops, how much? Well, let's say 10. And then we want to turn left by 90. And that should be a square. So now inside here, uh, let's just draw a square. At each point and see what we get. Ooh, so we get a bunch of uh, squares, but they're all connected by lines. So let's let's take out this pen down, and uh, instead we'll before we move, we'll say pen up. Okay, so now we're we're getting sort of a spiral made out of squares, and I feel like the lines are too heavy now. So let's, okay, that's kind of uh, more like it. Okay, so uh, this was method one. Method two is um, uh, a better idea if you want to move in equal angles, because trying to move by a certain angle just by calculating the distance is, is involves a lot of trig. It's very tricky. And so uh, another trick we can do is we can just go out and draw a square, come back to the origin, rotate a little bit, go out, draw another square, come back to the origin, rotate a little bit, go out, another one. Each time we go out, we'll go a little bit further from the center, so that will make the spiral get bigger and bigger, and we will uh, maintain a constant controllable angle. Uh, so how are we going to do that? Let's, um, to begin with, remember we started off-center in this one, but now we want to start in the center. So I'm going to, well, I'm going to comment that line out. Uh, we don't really need to turn left anymore. Um, so when we get started, remember what we want to do. Uh, go out from center, uh, draw. Uh, come back, uh, rotate by some angle, and then we're done. So let's let's put uh, let's keep the pen up. Uh, we're going to use pen forward. I mean turtle forward to go out from the center. And we'll, we can go by the same amount. It's going to be an increasing amount. So we've, here we've got i times 0.2. So that will increase the distance. 
uh, we want to draw something. So let's put the square in there. Uh, now we want to come back. Oh, this will be a little tricky. How do we come back? We can say turtle left 180 degrees. Head right back towards the beginning. And then we want to go the same distance. And then we want to turn 180 degrees again. Now, one thing I don't like is I've, I've got this complicated expression for distance. It's 1 plus i times 0.2. It's not that complicated, but let's assign it to a variable like this. And, and then we can use distance in two different places, because I know that we're going to change it. And I don't want to change it in two places and keep track. Uh, OK, and then finally, we need to rotate by some angle. But look at that. We've, we've got turtle left by 10. So let's save this. And we'll go back. Oh, my. Well, not exactly what I expected. Uh, one thing that's going on here is the uh, distance is not increasing very much. So we've got these, these overlapping squares. So let's make distance increase faster. And the other thing is the when we rotate by some angle, um, you know that's a ten is uh, divides 360 evenly. So we're always coming back to the same spot. So what if we put in I don't know some slightly non ten value, ten point oh seven. Okay. Oh, so now uh, now I see a spiral emerging, but we've we've got these lines. Where is that coming from? Let's go back and look. Um, we do pen up. Oh, we drew the square, which put the pen down. But then when we came back and went back out again, uh, we didn't pick the pen up. So I'm going to pick the pen up here and do it. Oh, so now we're getting something a little more interesting. I think maybe the spiral's growing a little too fast, so I'm going to change this to i times 1. And uh, that looks pretty nice. So here's a case where we, we have very fine control over the exact angle. It was so exact that, that uh, you know, it was a bit of a problem. Uh, so for example, I can now put in 13.2. And we should see this whole thing change just uh, very, very slightly the same idea. OK, so I hope this helps with the homework I, uh, and gives you some more experience uh, dealing with uh, turtles and rotation and spirals.